We have of late been examining some of the oldest ancient ruins to be found anywhere on Earth. Due to their enormous age, many of these sites are simply turning back into geology, blending with that in which they have sat for untold millennia. It is undoubtable that even older sites still exist upon the face of the planet. However, due to the erosion they have experienced, they are unfortunately easily argued away as mere geological formations. Although fortunately, it seems that these sites have an uncanny way of haunting those who discredit them. Many of these prehistoric sites found in remote and inhospitable areas of Earth may have been devoured by weathering, but their foundations, fortunately buried below ground, have survived. These ruins now creating earthworks, patchwork outlines of their final remnants, ghosts of a bygone age, places we are currently rediscovering with the use of modern technology. These earthworks are seemingly turning up everywhere found within deforested areas of the Amazon, Guatemala, and even some a little closer to home. The mounds of Ohio are also some of these extremely ancient foundations. Although, predictably, largely unstudied by academia, the independent research that has been done on this site has demonstrated that many of the earthworks were not the mere simplistic structures one would have you suspect but were, in fact, engineering marvels of astonishing symmetry and accuracy. The earliest studied indigenous peoples of eastern North America are obviously academia's only choice when it comes to a culprit who could have built these amazing complexes, and they have somewhat facetiously become known, among certain circles, as the Da Vinci's of the dirt. The question is, who could have actually, realistically, incorporated such sophisticated knowledge of geometry, astronomy, and architecture into stone structures seemingly built many millennia ago? Why do historical, archaeological, and academic circles alike continue to allow so many people to view these incredible earthworks as mere piles of dirt? Cincinnati architectural historian John Hancock has written of this invisibility to modern eyes. Quote, Not only are most of the sites destroyed or badly degraded, but the surviving ones are almost equally incomprehensible as works of architecture. As conceived by their builders, they were vast in scale, subtle in design, and both soft and complex in form. As visible today, they are most often covered with obscuring vegetation. For such earthworks, the whole design could not be grasped through direct experience as an architectural idea, as a monumental spatial experience, or as a meaningful composition whole. They reflect a spatial conception that is fundamentally beyond the grasp of the modern Western imagination." End quote. More research of the earthworks is desperately needed.